So Twitch is going to be implementing some new changes onto their site, uh, mainly affecting partners. So people who have built up a bit of a following. Now that ranges uh, a good amount. There is, there's people that like are getting like hundreds of thousands of stream viewers. People are getting only a few thousand, which is going to play into what's going on. Uh, partially of what's going on and so when you're on twitch and you make revenue from your streams you get bits and donations to your stream and those come to you and twitch takes a 30 percent cut uh, the reason they do this is to keep their doors open business running obviously they can't just be a funnel for gain money or I mean, they might be able to, but I don't know if they'd be able to cover costs for long. It wouldn't be a very profitable business, which is also why they run ads on certain streams. Now, they've announced that they will be changing the cut for certain partners for from 70 to 50%. Now, this has obviously caused a bit of an uproar and people weren't too happy about it. There, there was a lot of talk. I remember seeing a tweet from Pokemon where she was talking about how uh, the new ad system, so that there's going to be more ads, you know, so that they, they can make more money. And Pokemon was talking about how they, sh they should run ads, but ads that don't interfere with, you know, watching the stream. So, like, having sidebars and, like, stuff like that. So, you know, when you're watching YouTube and there'll be, like, that little ad that'll pop up in, like, in, on, like, the bottom? Like something like that would work perfectly fine and I think it would be a good idea and they'd be able to run the same amount of ads they wouldn't be able to run the same amount of video ads but they still run a good amount you know it just just throwing out a thought there I really do think that it sucks that they're only going to be giving people 50% now I don't understand why they're doing that it doesn't make any sense to me I I don't know, but Hassan, Hassanabi, Hassan Pike, Hassan Piker, whatever you want to call him, Sank, Sank, I want to say his unk, nephew, all that. He uh, came out and said that he knew about these changes back when he signed his exclusivity contract and just didn't say anything. Now, I know people are going to uh, criticize him for that, but. I, I doubt that he could have said something just with how contracts are. I'm pretty sure they would have had him like, there's probably a stipulation in there that says, hey, you can't talk about this. Like, um, but anyway, he also said that like, he's noticed that even though he runs a one minute ad break throughout his uh, streams, he's been noticing that uh, more ads are getting run. Oh, more than just that one minute ad break. Uh, and also, Asmund Gold came out and said that, hey, this is mostly going to affect the small streamers because the big streamers like him, you know, SQC, Hassan, whatever, they can just get a sponsorship if they need more money, right? Because they have such a big platform and they have such a big name. But for smaller guys, like, let's say I were to get on Twitch, right? And after a couple months, I built up a bit of a following, right? And I quit my job, okay? So now I'm kind of making it and kind of pushing along. That 70% is sort of helping me out. It's sort of getting me there. You know, I'm hoping to, you know, sort of graduate up in the world, I guess you could say. And all of a sudden, turns out, well, I, my income just got cut by 20%. It's, that's not the exact amount, but 20% of what I will... I'm getting 20% less of the cut I was already get, gonna get cut away from me, but from Twitch, and now I'm getting even less. Like, that could mess me up. I could end up all out on the street. Now, thankfully, this isn't my job. This is something I just enjoy doing, but I, I, I actually don't stream, but that's beside the point. Uh, this could really, like, be really bad for smaller streamers, and I feel like that's the biggest issue here. Like, these people are going to be losing like a good chunk of their income for I don't understand what reason. Now, 
even the article I originally read this from, Dexardo, they were talking about how, like, this might not even happen. Like, there's just a report. Twitch hasn't, like, fully confirmed it yet. But, like, people have been talking about it. Uh, the only reason people are talking about it is because of a report from Bloomberg.com where they were talking about it. So, you know, Twitch hopefully will see, you know, the backlash and be like, oh, well, maybe, maybe this isn't the best thing, right? Maybe they'll be able to sit back and look at it objectively and be like, yeah, so this isn't the best thing for our creators. This isn't the best thing for our company, like, looks-wise. And overall, it's something that we should not just do. And, uh, I, but I don't know. I don't know. And we're just going to have to sit here and wait and hope that uh, a good outcome comes from all of this. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.